Hey, I should make a. Uh, I should. I don't mean to interrupt the fun, but uh, this is a breaking news story, a serious news story. What? A plane has crashed. Uh, hold it into the World Trade Center. You're kidding. The World Trade Center is on fire, wow. which is the. What the is going Really? Let me look out my window. Yeah, it's the, the tallest. Just heard you say oh, that John made oh, out with Pamela oh Lake. God. Look out the window. You can see wow. it, or you can. Uh, I don't see any fire. There's a fire at the World Trade it's Center. Only Hold on, let me go. Ralph, from you. Take a look, seriously. Holy crap! You know, That's you know how I, I was just there. I was at a wedding right on, right there. Yeah, it was, was it like Anderson's one of those private planes? Thank God you're alive. Oh, dude! Do you see it, dude? It, it's the top. Oh my God! I got to go out on my roof. This is incredible. <laughs> The whole thing is on fire. Yeah. You're right. I mean, not a little fire. No, it's huge. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. If a plane right. hits a building. I got I to gotta, I gotta run. How did that take so long to happen? I'll call you back. Right, did, right. Did, did I know. You, I'm you, always amazed. Because, you know, a plane once crashed in, in the 40s. A plane crashed right into the Empire State Building. Like, right. right in. Right. What kind but of plane? But what kind of plane? Was it a private... Stupid plane? I don't have any more details. I'm following this story. I hope this wasn't one of those, like, terrorist kamikaze attacks. Hey, you uh, know what? He's preparing to... Uh, let's get back to you and Pamela. <laughs> ...sit in on, uh, for Dan Rather. That's why he's being very serious. Yes. Uh, he's taking over This is my audition. <laughs> we go now to Sandra Rodriguez, who is a, on the site at the World Trade Center. Hello. Sandra? Hello, Hans. <laughs> the fire is going very rapidly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking over Dan Rather when he retires. <laughs> hey, Aaron. But it's a very serious story. I mean, I'm sure it is. I, but fortunately, it's early in the morning. Maybe not too many people are in the building. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's a financial building. Those people get in really early. Yeah. I mean, they really do. It's like seven. For the uh, international market. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do they do there, though? I'm not sure if the plane is, like, a portion of the plane isn't actually stuck yeah, into the building. It looks like something's Where? hanging out there. You see on the, on the left-hand side of yeah, your yeah, screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I don't know if you can see it. Good Lord. Oh, they just pulled back for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that? Is yeah. that a helicopter? I think it's a helicopter that's hovering around to see what's going on. No, no, yeah. no I, I see what he's saying. The yeah, one, right oh, up there. It's a piece yeah. of the plane hanging off the building. Oh, I don't know if that's smoke or a piece you of the plane. You can't really tell. But dude, it's it's really smoking, man. Yeah. Huge fire. It's like, um, it's like towering inferno, because once it yeah. gets started, what happens? Imagine I hope being they trapped built in there. it better than that hotel. Well, how are they going to get? They're not going to get hoses up there. They're going to have to rely on the sprinkler Sprinklers system. Sprinklers and all that. Yeah, well, and you know how well they work in the yeah, city. Yeah, but you know these stairwells are. You all can't high. drag a hose up there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't they have a ladder that goes that high? I don't even know how you begin to fight that fire. Did no, I don't think I did. Like you know, did you pull a butt? Uh, you got to watch your monitor. They're going to play back. There was just an explosion. Oh my god. Oh, That's what let me see. About. Oh no! This is this is. Um, but what what happened, Tom? What do you know? I, I mean, all I know is that apparently a plane. I've heard it, uh, I've heard Channel Two describe it as a. Uh, uh, looked like someone was driving a you know, drunk driver driving a car flew into the building. <gasps> was and, it a terrorist uh, attack? Look, look at this that! Unbelievable. <gasps> I mean, it was a That's unbelievable a huge hole. To see what's going on at the World Trade Center, That's and about sad. there's there's wow, an explosion look at that. that just happened. It's, 20 it's, seconds it's even ago. lower now. The explosion looks yeah. like a movie. It is. Um, yeah, it does. It looks like a, a uh, movie special effect. Oh, I'm telling time. you, it's Pam Anderson's jet. Oh, stop. Finney, what are you talking about? I'm not trying to be making a... This is oh, not oh, even wait, a joke. Wait, hold on. Is, is, is the other one catching fire now? Gene Simmons is a... No. <laughs> what was the Gene Simmons thing? Gene Simmons <laughs> blew up. <laughs> wait a second. Let me see that again. Just, pull that up again. Is it in both buildings? Does it look like, yeah, it looks like the other buildings are Why it, this explode? caught now. Well, yeah, this is going to... I mean, this is going to be massive. Yeah. Are there people in the building? There's, There's got to be people in the building. Know, but I, I mean... I don't know who said it was Gary or John, but you're right. I mean, how, I know, how, how does the fire department deal with this? I don't know. Well, they said emergency crews are rushing to the scene. That's a hole oh, like the like that. the Oklahoma City hole in a building. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think there it is. is. There it is. That's a hard. That's flames, man. See that? That's, that's really the second look... building. So. Oh my God. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no the one on the second right. building's on fire. That's yeah. right. The, the one on the right has a hole in it. Has a hole in it. The other one's the one that exploded. No, I think it was the back side of the first building. That's a reflection. At least I hope it was. I do too. So anyway, Pam Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just a rumor. Somebody just called and said that on CNN, a second plane just crashed into. Oh, one stop of it! A oh, second plane. Wait a minute! Two different buildings. They are two different buildings, and that is lower. That's what I so said. it's a terrorist attack, isn't it? Just, that, that's you what they're it. saying. It's, it's got to be. be. It's got to be. Somebody just called. Oh in with my that. goodness! Oh no! A second plane might have crashed, and a second building is on fire. Oh, Why does everyone go to the World Trade Center? What do they do Look, there? It's, it's, the take, biggest, it's a it's big the uh, target. Landmark right. in New York? Well, it's the biggest landmark in New York, really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, next to it's the tallest. Oh, my God. And it's a place where people can be killed. Like, you can't take down the, the Statue oh of Liberty. Nobody's going to be killed there. Oh, 
<coughs> hey, maybe I should put the sound on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, channel, we got channel two. Sound. Yeah, give me some sound. What's all that stuff? Hold on, I, uh, that's flying in the air. You see that? that like papers or something. Well, yeah, yeah there's going to be a lot of debris and stuff. And this will be a good opportunity for me to act like Dan Rather. <laughs> yes, you can practice. Because I'm going to be when them. they call. Does this scare you? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. it does scare me. We're totally too lax in this country. I'm trying to tell you. Tell me if you're ready. Would you see that movie Swordfish, Howard? Now at the scene, we should tell you that uh, approximately 40,000 people work in the World Trade Centers between the two towers, Look each building 110 stories tall. And joining us now on the phone uh, again is, uh, is John McLennan. He works at 200. I hope it's not Captain Jenks. And uh, <laughs> has witnessed some of this, some of this unfold. As it, have we, just before 9 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Hello? Just Hello. before, uh, John, you still with us? Yes, I am. Okay. Just before 9 o'clock this morning, and an unbelievable event happened, catastrophic event. A plane crashed into the World Trade Center Tower Number 1. Not more than three minutes ago, a second explosion happened at Tower Number 2. Uh, we're being told that it could have been another plane, although what we saw was just an explosion. Mm -hmm. And again, Michael, you said 40,000 people work at Jeez. World Trade Center. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're, we're efforting uh, reporters on the scene, are trying to get down there. Marcella Palmer, namely, as many others that we have uh, called in and heading down there. We're trying to get uh, people who have been eyewitnesses to this to call us so that we can hear what they know and what they've seen. We're hearing that it could have been a Boeing 737 or an Airbus from one of our witnesses. So it was um, two planes? Huge we're not plane. still sure so you think it was two planes? Exactly caused They're not that sure. explosion on the second World Trade Center tower. They don't know. But if it was a, one of those size planes, those are huge jets. We have no confirmation on, on the injuries, as Lisa mentioned. We have uh, no knowledge as to uh, how many people involved. However, our producers are telling us now that we do have some videotape. Uh oh of the second plane, and you can oh. see it there. No. Where? Oh. I didn't see it. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, my oh, this God. Is crazy. We We're under attack. Going into and building. And from our vantage stuff. point, yeah, clearly difficult to tell. We're under uh, attack. What type of plane that is, but it's a horrific scene. That's and oh All right, we've just been God. told also, Michael, sorry, the New York Stock Exchange is, is being evacuated, as is, I'm sure, much of Wall Street, <gasps> if not all of it, as, as much as possible. But the New York Stock Exchange has suspended trading for the it's moment. It's war. As Come on. Everyone tries to all right, get out of the Japanese. area. We did. Japanese. This is Pearl Harbor. It is. Right, we got to go bomb everything over there gentlemen, now. Crash we got to bomb here. the hell out of them. <laughs> you know who it is. We I can't say, but I know who it is. As soon as we get That's it, crazy. Oh, yes. This is more upsetting than me not getting Pam Anderson. What is that, Tom? There it is. There it is. Yep. I see it. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Going into what, are you, that is what are you saying, Tom? I mean, I've never seen anything like Obviously, Me neither. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. Oh, my God. So that's a suicide mission. Yeah. Yeah, suicide mission. They're doing it over here now. We, we can't put words in the FAA's no, mouth no. or what any, any flight. Uh, I know who's doing it. Tower information. There's no way a 737 would do that. And on a, what seemingly is a relatively clear New York day, yeah. two plane impacts. One you just witnessed there, uh, saw on tape. Uh, it's a suicide mission. Yeah. We're at war. We're at war. Look at that. And who are we at war with? Yeah. Nine, the second one. Is this our Chopper 2 picture? Not long after nine. Uh, yeah, this is a. I believe picture from Chopper 2. Yeah, Jim Smith, amazing. are you up there? Yes, we are, Michael and Lisa. We have been uh, forced to stay about oh my five God. miles away from the World Trade Center. A flight restriction has been put in place, but right now we are looking at live pictures. The tower on the left, that is tower number one. And uh, we can tell you that we can still see the flames and the smoke coming out of that as well as the uh, tower to the right. That is tower number two. You can see the damage to that about the middle of the building. Just incredible what we are witnessing here from about five miles away from the World Trade Center. Jim, I don't know if you were able to see the videotape that we showed moments ago. And if you have any information at all as to what type of plane and what carrier may be involved. Well, we did not have that as of yet, Michael. Unfortunately, we were unable to see the attacks occurred 18 minutes apart. Baker is right now talking with air traffic control. We're Look trying to uh, determine what exactly happened here, what type of plane, to be exact, was involved here, as well as the carrier involved. We're showing people again that videotape that was shot just moments ago of Holy that second cow. plane making impact into the uh, into the second of the uh, the trade centers. Again, both 110 stories tall, 40,000 people working between. The Dominic uh, is on the phone. He seems to want to say something. Yes, Dominic. Oh, he's gone. What is it, Joey Boots? Howard, hey, I'm down on West 4th Street. We heard the first explosion. We went outside. 
We're watching the smoke come out. There's a hole in the side of the building. All of a sudden, maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes later, there was another plane flying around, and that disappeared into the building also, and you had like a third explosion after that. How big did these plane, that plane look? The, the second plane was a decent-sized plane. It looked like it would hold maybe 50, 60 people. Really? Yeah, let me tell you something. Like, we're looking on TV, and the World Trade Center is so big that it looks like I'm a tiny at it plane. Right here. You, you couldn't even believe sight. I mean, I've never seen anything like this before. We heard the first explosion. It rocked my friend's apartment. Uh, the Pentagon has just been, been attacked. Hit by a plane. Hit by a plane. The World Trade Center has been hit by two planes. This is what we know so far. And uh, I got to tell you. They evacuated the White House. Hey, let me put on the sound. On the other side of the screen, you can see the World Trade Center, which was hit by two, two planes. The first plane that hit the World Trade Center was a plane that was hijacked from Boston. As a result of that, we can also tell you that Logan Airport in Boston has also been closed. Wow. New York City airports are closed. Bridges and tunnels coming into Manhattan. What's going to be next? All been closed. Anything, Anything could, could happen be a now. further terrorist target is now being closed down as New York City and apparently the capital go into the a Pentagon. How do they get a plane through to the Pentagon? That's what I want to know. Well, Isn't that what? Washington Mall. So there's only there's now two. How is the Pentagon? It's forty eight minutes since the first attack on the World Trade Center, and they got through. Does and they got a plane question through. Now whether this is terrorism? Well, we know it's terrorism, and I'm telling you, a country has to be. You know, this reminds me of Japan attacked us in World War II, Pearl Harbor. They were the only country ever to attack the United States like. This and we took an A bomb and we blew the the, the, the daylights out of them. Out of Harry Truman knew they were still screwing around four at the end of the war. It was four years later. Four years later, they dropped an atomic bomb on their ass, and we got to drop atomic bombs. There's got to be a war. The, uh, That's like, all there uh, is uh, to but it. a devastating war where yeah, people we, die. No stopping. This. Burn their eyes out and with don't atomic hear bombs. About casual, uh, casual, yeah. uh, and about how you, civilian civilians. casualties. Far, far we got civilian casualties. People work in the if this guy Bush doesn't go to war right now, I'm telling you, you that gotta, you're still gonna, you got to know where to go. We know where well, to go. you know what? Don't you know? If they didn't do it, they better surrender right away. Yeah, they should all surrender right now. I'd rather Martin Sheen stepped up than Bush right now. Vinny, be quiet. Oh. Vinny, where did you come from? <laughs> right? Vinny, handle it better. That's Vinny Penn. Vinny Penn is still trying to be funny. He's like, hey, this was my day to be funny. In all fairness, he hasn't been here in three months, and he may not be back for another three. He's going to make the most all of it. All right, Vinny, you make all the jokes you want. <laughs> well, yeah. We understand. Wait. As you look live at New York City's the Pentagon Trade Center buildings on f uh, fire from a the Pentagon is on fire. That's brazen. I mean, to attack the Pentagon, is, uh, the it's brazen. Crash it's like we don't American care. Airlines that is the seat of our military. Boston yeah, had been hijacked. The second airplane we're That's trying like to get. That's like scoping at us as, as far a as super they, they are, are we done? I mean, do you think there's something else coming? Yeah, absolutely. Who knew that this was going to happen? The Pentagon. How are they getting all these planes? That's why they're evacuating the White House. This is serious. Very serious. Black smoke. Our president the can't go home that tonight. Aircraft was hit just a few moments ago, 9:40 this morning. Should point out he doesn't want to go home. He wants to be on that ranch anyway. Washington Mall. Uh, no confirmation as to the cause of that. And the west wing of the White House and the Capitol buildings have been evacuated. Uh, All these countries are jealous of us, our way of life. They want us to be miserable like they are. Right, and we are now miserable. And now is the time to not even ask questions. Nope. Just to be pissed off and drop a few atom bombs, do a couple of chemical warfare hits, let their people burn and suffer until they understand. our stores of everything because we haven't been bothering anybody. Right. They started screaming about colonialism. We stopped. John Slattery, I'm sorry. Dominic, what is it? I don't know why I'm going to you, but... California. Why? Yeah. yeah. Something in the Midwest. Yeah. There's something in the West, Chicago, something in L.A., Chicago. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean there, there's obvious targets, but I mean, Chicago, L.A. Chicago or, or something in... in what? Boy, they're going to every... The, the Pentagon! They're what doing they, it. They've shut down Wall Street. Can you imagine they bombed... The, they actually crashed into the Pentagon. Pentagon. How do you get to do that? I thought that that's like so... Like that airspace is completely protected. And how are they not on alert? Well, right. everybody's that's, on that's, alert that's, now. I mean, it's 48 minutes later. I mean, so yeah, what? I mean, that's no, certainly that's enough time. A, yeah. I'm saying that. Yeah. It's, and, now, wait it's, a second. What's that? I mean, what, what are we looking at now? Hold on a second. Earlier this morning, a yeah. approximately 60-foot section of this building, which is, of course, the headquarters of all... Uh, That's the Pentagon the we're looking at. It's, United it's States, on fire. ...was on fire as a result of this, uh, this crash and then collapsed. The Pentagon uh, collapsed. Are, 
some of the, uh, the pictures we've been uh, we've been bringing our audience from the Pentagon. We've been we've watched people being treated by first aid personnel there. We have no information yet. Uh, I'm getting a note that on WYSP in Philly, Detroit, and Cleveland radio stations, we're being interrupted. So really? I don't even know what stations we're on at this point. Incident, although emergency personnel. And what are we being interrupted with? I don't know. We're definitely on in New York. That's for sure. No, I know that. Uh, elsewhere What's interrupting us? Don't know. Uh, I'll try and find out. Yeah, I'm just curious. Is uh, it? Uh, can I ask Tom a quick question? Sure. Yeah. Tom, should I stay here or should I try you know, to walk I, into work? I think you're doing a great job. I would stay there. Okay. Yeah, stay there. All right, I'll stay here. Okay, I think you've been great. Thank you. For once. <laughs> get off me. <laughs> Howard, I have the scariest thing right now. I can't get through. I have a friend who uh, literally lives uh, three blocks away from the Twin Towers. I have, I have a couple friends that live right down that same area, man. It's... I know, and, and there are people I'm trying to contact. Dan Marie's out there dialing for me. They say for the first time in history, we have stopped all domestic flights and diverted all international flights to Canada. We've never had to take that kind of action before. This is, this is you know what, I don't, it's not, it hasn't even sunk in with me yet. Yeah, no, it, it seems devastated. like you're watching a movie or something. Yeah, it it's hasn't even terrible. sunk in that the, the World Trade Center is gone. It's Pearl Harbor. I mean, that it, it, thousands it, of people are probably dead. Tens mm -hmm. of thousands, how are you? Tens and tens, probably 50 plus, I would say. I would say, at least. Yes, and that the Pentagon... God only knows what was going on there, and who knows what else is going to happen next. Well, our government was attacked. And there's there are probably other... not one of us on the on you know in this New York area who or in this country who's not going to know someone who well, was killed in this. Right. I can start by telling you one of our she's not nothing's wrong with her, but one of our interns, one of our brand new interns, was supposed to start today. Her mom called to tell us she's being held in a garage in New York City because her building's gone. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We know people on staff who. There's a plane in Cleveland loaded with. What is this? I don't. I don't know. On a runway with a bomb. Oh, oh. There's a plane in Cleveland loaded with people on a runway oh, with a bomb. Well, that's that's what probably the guy why. Was calling in for, yeah. That's maybe what's going on with our Cleveland station. If anyone can find well, out. I've been hearing that on the other stations that they're interrupting our our reports with news reports. I see. Yeah, they're probably going to local programming. Because each city, each, some of the major cities are all having oh, their own thank story. You, yeah. you know, I don't mean to blame anybody, but, you know, it's funny because, you know, you think you're so safe in this country. And we were taught when I was in the military that, you know, that the Air Force is always up in the air and there's always someone watching. And, and for, for airplanes to just be hijacked in numbers like this and crash into our own populated areas. Well, let me tell you something. Well, what we learned in Vietnam is when you're using guerrilla tactics, it's impossible for the yeah. military yeah. to stop them. And you. remember the mistake in Vietnam. We should have nuked those dudes, and we never did. And if we don't nuke some of these countries over there, I mean literally nuke them, fry right. them, fry their children, fry yep. everything. They Boy, will never countries. stop. You know they what will I feel never like? stop. And I know it's an unpopular thing to do, but you got to be the strong one, and Bush is going to have to make that decision. Target three countries over there and level them. Yemen is one of them. Yeah, you, you, know what, you know what it feels like now? It feels mm. like almost like, we, you know, remember when we fought the British? It's like we're the redcoats. Like we're yeah. standing. We're, we're, we're playing like idiots. Yeah, we're playing fair while yeah, guerrillas are. Yeah, we're standing are, in line waiting for people to shoot yeah. us. Yeah. Military uh, action has changed. Right, we're all a about. U.S. Army general, I think, who's talking. Now. Okay, let me see. More trouble before, uh, before all of this concludes. He's a retired so Army general. Oh, Protect. Okay the American people first. We've got to look after those who are injured. We've got to take precautionary measures to deal Former with... Former NATO Supreme incident. Commander, and Wesley Clark. That's underway with a lot of responsible action by people everywhere. The damage at the Pentagon is unclear from all the news reports that I've seen. Who knows what's going on? The one report that said it crashed into the army side of the building. Uh, there are command centers in various places of the Pentagon, and there are many other alternate command centers. So I don't think there's really any issue about the command and control of the United States Armed Forces. I'm sure that's very solid right now. General well, you Clark, see what he's saying? He's saying that the reason you attack the Pentagon is it. to knock out all the leaders of the military, because right. each military uh, unit has a command center there. You have the heads of all of the, the Navy, the Army, the Air Force right there in the Pentagon. Uh, in Philadelphia, we are on the air. They're just interrupting for any kind of local news. We're on in Louisville, and they'll stay with us as long as we stay on. Uh, it seems like all our affiliates are still with us. So Yeah, I'm telling you, it's, it's the best coverage. You have, uh, you know, access to seven different networks here. I know. And if we hear anything, we just go right on the right. air with it. So we're trying to, uh, we're just sitting here in shock. You know, you see the pictures shock. from, like, the Gaza Strip when there's a car bomb. You see, yeah. like, uh, but it never right. feels, it never feels real it. enough. It's us. Yeah, it's now us. it feels real, it's the right? the exact pictures you see from overseas that you just say, oh, my God, you can't even imagine that. This is us in New York City. As someone said in earlier Washington. today, this is Israel every day. That's right.
No, you don't take down the bad tower. I mean, this is worse. The only affiliate that's not with us is Cleveland because of the bomb report at the airport and the uh, airplane with the bomb. They're they're, they're probably going to local coverage. Um, A lot of our phone lines are down. We do have people calling in. I'll keep going to the phones. Uh, people here, I know, in just, just in our building, people in Manhattan are devastated. Everybody knows someone who works at the World Trade Center. Of course. And uh, everyone knows someone who's involved with the financial community, which is where we were first hit sometime before 9 o'clock in the morning, a few minutes before 9. 18 minutes later, a second plane goes into the World Trade Center. We've seen the complete collapse of the World Trade Center. We've seen a plane go into the Pentagon, just crash right into it. That's uh, the scariest thing of all. There are other planes now with bombs, and also they're saying there are terrorists with bombs not in planes, but are also uh, running around. That's what we know.